Good afternoon, London Dairy. My name is Mary Wing Soares, and I'm your host today for London Dairy Sings. We have a wonderful group of people today coming to sing for your entertainment. We have three fabulous judges. I'm going to go get my notes. First, I'd like to introduce our judges and thank them so much for coming. Um, on my left, your right, is Nick DeFrancesco. He's currently a senior voice major at Manhattan School of Music Conservatory in New York City. Among other places, he has performed at the Lincoln Center and the Kennedy Center. Next Saturday night, he will be performing at the Hampton Beach Outdoor Shell. So make sure to go to Hampton Beach and support him. Thank you, Nick, for coming. I thank appreciate you. it. Um, our lovely female judge today is Kirby Wade. She's the executive assistant for the London Dairy Town Manager and Town Council. She attended the New England Institute for Art, did an art study abroad program in Italy, and then went on to receive her bachelor's in business and marketing in 2012 from the University of Phoenix. She immediately put her degree to good use, working as a campaign director for an executive council candidate before joining the London Dairy community. Kirby is passionate about art, politics, and volunteering for several committees and the foundation for the town of Londonderry. She is certainly qualified as one of our judges because, as we all know, there isn't a politician who isn't an actor or a performer in this world. So good for you, Kirby, and thank you for joining us. And our third distinguished judge today is Mark Berglund. He's been involved in community theater since 2003 and is currently serving as vice president for the Greater Dairy Arts Council. He is currently on the production staff for the Specialized Theater Enrichment Program for London Dairy and has served on the board of directors for Kids Coop Theater, KCP as some of us know, of London Dairy from 2007 to 2012. Um, he'd also like to get in a plug for um, Greater Dairy's Got Talent for the Old Home Day for Greater Dairy. Um, auditions will be held August 26th. I'm sorry, Mark, everybody has to come to the town, the school board meeting on the 26th because we're making a presentation for the auditorium. On the 27th. But they can come on the 27th. You can come on the 27th and audition for Greater Dairy's Got Talent at the Opera House. Is it at the Opera House? No, it's not. No, it's at um, Dance Progressions. Okay, it's at Dance Progressions, but you can find out more information by going to www.dairyoperahouse.com. And um, the event is on their website, so please look that out. Uh, we have some such talent today. I hope that I see them all um, at the Dairy, Greater Dairy Dot Talent Contest. Thank so, <laughs> without further ado, um, originally, we had set up this uh, for people who are 13 years and uh, 13 years to 35. The first year, those were our parameters, 13 to 35. And we had one gal who said, "I turn 35 next week. I can sing." And we were very excited that she wanted to do that. We had 14 students, 14 people come that that year. The next year, we said, "Well, let's do 13 to." You know, walk into the funeral home if you want. So however old you want to be. And as luck would have it, we had an 81-year-old come and join us. He's back here again this year, 82-year-old. Um, and he will be the finale. Well, the second to the... And then we're going to have a little bit of a, a, a special interlude while we figure out our winners today. But to begin with, we um, I got an email and a video from a very talented young woman who is only 10. And her mom said, you know, I know the rules say 13, but she's so eager to do this, and she definitely has the talent to do it. Can she please be involved in it? And I said, absolutely, no problem. And I immediately changed our information that anybody 10 and up can join us. I've worked with, um, I work at the middle school, so I know what kind of talent we have out there in our 10, 11, and 12 year olds. So. Here we go. Beginning our show today is Paris Teslas singing Rather Be Clean, Rather Be by Clean Break.
Excellent job. You look very comfortable up there. I like the way you uh, moved around the stage. A lot of time when people get up for a uh, singing contest, they'll just like stand in one spot like, and, uh, and sing their song. But uh, you look very comfortable and you did a great job. Uh, <laughs> very good. Well, you definitely stole the stage. Uh, you picked my favorite song. I think that you were spot on on your notes, and I think that you did a wonderful job. Thank you. You're so cute. I, I like you. Um, the you have you have an excellent stage presence. You can you can get more involved with your audience. I saw you interacting with some of us. It's really 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 impressive when singers can uh, connect with their audience. You did a good job on that. Um, don't get distracted with uh, things that go on though. Um, yeah, you drifted a little bit, and but when once you got center and once you got uh, kept your focus, you were really really great. I really enjoyed your performance. Thank, Thank you so you. much. 
Evan, she's only 10. We've got a lot to look forward to with this young lady. Awesome job. Next up, we have Sammy Honeywell. Sammy sang our national anthem for us this morning. Um, I don't know if any of you got to enjoy her rendition of the national anthem at the beginning of the parade. She did a fabulous job, and I've seen, I've known Sammy for years. She's been involved with theater and music, and I'm excited to see her here today. Thank you very much for joining us. Sammy is a 13-year-old, 15-year-old, oh yeah, that does say 15. Remember bigger font. Great job and that you have a beautiful voice. Thank you. 
All right, rock out, girl. Yeah. Um, I love the attitude that you, because uh, if the song needs a little bit of uh, attitude, you don't need to be swinging on a wrecking ball naked, though, like, you know, the time. But um, you have uh, you have an awesome focus. Thank like, you, I could see that you were, you were talking to somebody. I don't know who it is. I don't want to know who it is. But, yeah, great, great. And, um, and, um, good job. Thank you. Sammy, great job, great job. Thank you. Uh, good song selection. Uh, you did a great job. And um, uh, I really don't have much else to say. I, I liked it. Thank you. Let's hear it for Sammy Honeywell. <laughs> New to our stage is Leah Clark. She's a 13-year-old who... I was blown away with when she sent in her, they, everybody has to send in an audition video of them singing and Leah just did such a beautiful job. I'm so excited that she came today. So Leah Clark will be singing On My Own from Lay Men. Okay, very good, very good. Uh, is this your, this your first uh, uh, singing contest that you've ended? Or? Yeah, my first, like, first? Thing. Oh. Yeah, yeah. What you want to do is try to try to move around a little bit more. You know, you're nervous and you know, it's understandable. But uh, you did a great job. Um, and uh, great. Thank you.
I think you did an awesome job. I think that you have the correct, the right kind of voice for a song like that. It was phenomenal. I kind of second what he said, just feel more comfortable on the stage and move around. But besides that, you did a wonderful job. Thank you. I just want to elaborate a little bit. Great job, by the way. Um, I want to elaborate a little bit more on like moving around in general. Every mo movement has a purpose. So like, what does the song mean to you? How, do, how and um, don't be um, too. Uh, what am I saying? Um, how every action that you do move when you choose to move and when you get more comfortable on stage, um, make it have a meaning. Because this song is just so, I mean, this is right up my alley. I do musical theater for like a living. So, <laughs> um, what, and this song means so much. So find the meaning, it, you have it, I see it. It's in your eyes. So just elaborate on it and then find, find who you are and then see who's that on stage. Great job. Thank you for coming. I mean, don't go anywhere, okay? But thank you for singing. Okay, so next up we have Joey. Come here. I'm sorry, did you say Justin Bieber? Because that sounded like Justin Bieber. I know, didn't it though? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll slow down for a minute. Relax. No problem. Joey, pronounce your last name. Tenalfo. I didn't want to butcher it, so that's why I had him come up and say it. Come over, come over. don't be afraid. He's been know. judging wrong. <laughs> Um, that's right. They, we want to give the judges time to be thoughtful in their scoring, and um, the way this works is they're scoring on song selection, stage presence, and singing ability. Okay, so um, so they have a one to ten scale, and they we want them to take their time and really think about the the artist and uh, how well they did. So no rushing. Okay. All right, Joey. Joey is also um, known to me because he just finished up at the middle school, right? You're in high school now. Um, Joey's 14 years old. He's done lots of theater. And um, I'm very excited to hear him. He is going to sing Demons by Imagine Dragons. Your eyes, they shine so bright I wanna save that light 
I can't escape this now Unless you show me how And you'll feel my heat Look into my eyes It's where my demons hide It's where my demons hide Ooh, oh, it's dark inside It's where my demons hide It's where my demons hide All right, great job, Joey. Um, I saw you had a little flip. Uh, it was up there, and it kind of like, um, it, it kind of like got you had the scared look. I know that look all too well. But um, the you really came back uh, on the verse that you knew, and that's the part that I was really focused on. Because um, no matter what you do, if you're in an in an audition, if you're doing for theater, because I heard you did theater, um, as long as you're given face. As long as you look like you know what you're doing, you could say da 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 da, and like it would, it wouldn't even matter. They would be like, "I love you. I'm booking you." Okay? So just know that, know that you just, um, you really worked that second verse. I really liked it. All right? Thank you. Very welcome. I second what he said. When you felt like you were losing the song, you picked right back up and you seemed to get right back on track. And I definitely think the end of the song was a very strong. And I think that you have a really nice voice and that you did a very nice job. Thank you. Yeah, don't be so nervous. The beginning, you tell you were nervous, but by the end, you were getting into it, and, and I really showed it. it was a good job. Well, we've had a couple of kids that sort of gave us a little nervousness up there. The next gal that we have is singing a song called I'm Not Afraid of Anything, so let's see if that's true. Uh, Vicki Stubbs is a 17-year-old um, junior Senior, I can't believe these kids grew up so this quickly. Um, senior at Londonderry High School, she uh, plays the sousaphone in the marching band. So she's just a very talented young lady. I'm thrilled to have her here with us. She does this. She has a great time every year. Just loves doing this. Thanks yep. for coming. You better work this song. I will try my heart. <laughs> Water. I mean, she's moving all but still. She's afraid of water. But she won't go near the sea. But not me. And Katie's afraid of darkness. I mean, she's sleeping all but still. She's afraid of darkness. But when the lights go out, she has to hold my hand I don't understand I'm not afraid of anything Be it mountains, water, dragons, dark or sky I'm not afraid of anything who would give up what they want without a trial? Another mile. I'm not afraid. And Daddy's afraid of babies. I mean, he got through me, but now he's afraid of babies. I guess he's scared of what they'll be. Not me. And mom is afraid of crying. You know, she tries to hold it in. She's afraid of crying. And she can look at you with tears stuck in her eyes. And I don't know why. I'm not afraid of anything. Be it Growing old, we're going out of style. I'm not afraid of anything. Who would give up what they want without a trial? 
another mile. I'm not afraid. I can hear the calling of adventure. I can hear it ringing in my ear. Lights are glaring, trumpets blaring. I'm right here. I can hear the calling of tomorrow. I can feel it stirring in my bones. I know he loves me. He's afraid to tell me. Listen to the calling of excitement. I can feel it pounding in my heart. Lights are ready. Hope is steady. I can start. Never stop the calling of a challenge. The blessing on the water and the stone. I know he loves me. He's afraid to tell me. I know he loves me. He's afraid to trust me. He's afraid to hold me. And he'll always be. He's afraid of me. But I'm not afraid of anyone. I am sure to win with anyone at all. I'm not afraid of anyone. Not a soul alive can get behind this wall. So let them come and watch them fall. Cause after all, I'm not afraid. Vicky, great job, great. Uh, what I really liked was that you were singing to the audience. You, know, you were bringing us into it. You, know, you really felt it. I really, um, really enjoyed it. And a great song selection. I like it. Thank you very much. Vicky, your performance was awesome. And I just want to say that um, I think the song choice was perfect. And you seemed very comfortable on stage, which really added to the song. And I just think it was you did an amazing job. Thank you. Okay. So... <laughs> I took a master class of Sutton Foster this uh, this summer, and she's a god, and uh, she sang a little bit of the song, and then in the beginning when Jenny is afraid of water, you have to, I, you, she said, you have to really focus on in on what what you're trying to say and figure the uh, figure what everything that you're gonna say before you say it happens in that one little. Jenny's afraid of water. Well, why am I saying this? You know, she's afraid of water, and like that one thing sparks this entire song. So when you go home, when you study this in whatever theater class you do in college, because I know like something is happening with you, um, make sure you keep this song in your close grip, because it's a very great song. I'm so glad you did this, and focus on ma uh, make finding more meaning in the words, okay? okay? And at the bridge, let go, let it go, let it go. Okay. All right, thanks. Great Thank job. You. Thank you very much, Vicky. Okay, and um, Maddie Doris is a senior also at Londonary High School. I uh, can't say enough about this gal. She's, a, she's very talented. I'm excited that you're here again today. And I appreciate it. She's going to be singing Fairy Tale. And take it away, Maddie. All right. Cinderella's on a bedroom floor. She got a crush on the guy at the liquor store. Cause Mr. Charming don't come home anymore. And she forgets why she came here. Sleeping beauty's in a foul mood for shame. She says, none for you, dear prince. I'm tired today. I'd rather sleep my whole life away. And have you keep me from dreaming. I don't care for your fairy tale. You're so worried about 
the maid and though you know she's only waiting on the next best thing. The next best thing, yeah. So why does doing dishes again? Cause what else can you do with seven itty bitty men? She turns around and she calls up a friend, says, Will you meet me at midnight? Oh, the tall blonde lets out a cry of despair, said, Would have cut it myself if I knew men could climb hair. I'll have to find another tower somewhere and keep away from the window. Cause I don't care for your fairy tale. You're so worried about the maiden, though you know she's only waiting on the next best thing. Next best thing, yeah. Once upon a time in a faraway kingdom, a man made up a story so that I should believe him. Go and tell your white knight that he's handsome in hindsight, but I don't want the next best thing. So I sing a whole my head down and I break these walls around. I can't take no more of your fairy tale love. Cause I don't care for your fairy tale. You're so worried about the maiden, though you know she's only waiting. Spent her whole life being graded on and the sanity of patience and a dumb appreciation. But the story needs some mending and a better happy ending Cause I don't want the next best thing No, no, I don't want the next best thing Hey, um... I like that song. I've never seen I've heard it before. But I, I'm like, okay. But one of the things that you, um, I, I can say to you is that when you have repeated notes, you actually don't, like, this is a singing competition, but you don't actually kind of have to sing those notes. It's like, kind of like, speak it, you have a very smooth jazz voice, and dang. Like, I love that, that riff, that lick. Did you make that up? Was, was that in the song? Okay. I was going to be, like, super impressed. You should have said, yeah. Yeah, I, that was totally mine. I wrote the entire song. Okay. <laughs> but I loved, I loved um, the whole aspect of your performance. It was really great. I love the dress. So, great job. I second the dress comment. And I just wanted to say that I like how you acted out the song. It really added to your performance. And that you have a wonderful voice. And that perfect song choice. Thank you. Yes. You have an amazing mixed voice, by the way. Like when you want to, like up there. I'm not singing right now, but you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about, right? I really work, work that more because you're gonna you're gonna need that in the future, and it's very healthy. Okay. Thank you. I can't say anything more than you guys already said. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Thanks again, Maddie. All right, stick around. We have one more contestant today. This is Sam Macessa. Sam came to us last year and said, you know what, Mary, I just want to sing Frank. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm all over Frank. So absolutely, you definitely can do that. This year, he's going to be singing the Chattanooga Shoeshine Boys. I'd never heard that song in my life. But guess what? It's on YouTube. And I did YouTube it and listen to it, and it's a really great song. So I'm so glad Sam is here tonight, today, um, our... our Youngest, oldest cont uh, contestant, Sam, thank you for joining us. Here you go. Have you ever passed the corner of Fourth and Grand where a little ball of rhythm has a shoe shine stand? Uh, people gather round and they clap their hands. He's a great big bundle of joy. He pops a boogie woogie rat. The Chattanooga Shoe Shine Boy. He opens up the business when the clock strikes nine. He likes to get in early when they're feeling fine. Everybody gets a little rise and shine from the great big bundle of joy. He pops a boogie woogie rat. The Chattanooga Shoe Shine Boy. Now it's a wonder that the rag don't tear. The way he makes it bop. 
You want to see him fan in the air with hippity 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 bop bop bop. He charges you a nickel just to shine one shoe. He makes the oldest kind of leather look like new. And boy, you should see him when he gets through. He's the great big bundle of joy. He pops a boogie woogie right. The Chattanooga Shoe Shine Boy. Tim, you gotta come back again next year too, okay? You're here. Alright, so do you have some comments you wanna make? Oh I do. That was awesome. <laughs> I love that song. I grew up with that song. My it was actually, it's actually one of my mom's favorite songs and I think that you were spot on and I applaud you for singing and Great performance. I've been singing all my life. Nobody listens, though. <laughs> well, we listened. You did a great job. Really liked it. Uh, oh, my gosh. Like, you had everybody clapping. You could, like, dance even a little bit more. If they're giving you energy, you should give, the, give, give them energy. Keep, keep clapping. Keep going. Keep going. Grew up something for you. You're 82. You still got moves. Uh, <laughs> you're 82 years young. So, uh, great job. Great job. Thank you, Sam. Stick around, okay? All right, so um, I'm going to take a few moments and tally the results of the judges' um, judging. And I'm going to see if I can get Nick to come on up. Nick, as I said, is a performer and is in New York City right now. He's done some, played at Carnegie, or not played, but sang at Carnegie, but probably played too, because he's like a wicked great musician too. So Nick, um, thank you so much, Nick. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Great job, Sam. Sam, everybody. Oh, my God. Okay. I brought a CD. I hope it works. There's a 10-second delay. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Birds fly in the night, you know how I feel, sun in the sky, you know how I feel, breeze drifting on by, you know how I feel, it moves on. Day. It's a new light for me, and I'm feeling good. <laughs> I'm feeling good. How you feel, guys? Here we go. Star 
colors when you shine You know how I feel And all the pine You know how I feel Oh, freedom is in my I know how I feel The new dawn is a new day It's a new light It's a new dawn It's a new day It's a new light get our contestants back up on stage so that they can receive their final um, applause. We really all did so fabulous. I am so glad I don't have to make this decision every year because it is, too, it is very difficult. First of all, we want to thank every single one of you. Sam, you can come up the front. You don't have to go all the way around the back. Okay. Keep up my face. Well, wait, because Sam is coming around the back. <laughs> Vicki, how many times have you done Londonary Sings? <laughs> Five, maybe? I think this is the fifth anniversary of this. And you love it every single time. It's fun. It gives me an excuse to sing, and people usually listen, so I like it. <laughs> I think everybody listened today. Yep. Sam, you coming? Well, you guys are going to be going off to college, and hopefully you won't have to go back to school next August 15th, which is August 15th, 2015, put it on your calendar, that's the next Old Home Day, and uh, that's when we'll have our next Londonderry Sing, so I hope everybody comes back. Um, so, we have the top three winners today. I don't have a drum roll. <laughs> In third place today, Sam Massessa. In second place today, Miss Vicki Stubbs. And in first place today, Miss Maddie Doris. Come again next year for Old Home Day and Londonary Sings. Encourage all of your friends to come and sing. Even if you didn't win, I mean, everybody's a winner. You got up here and you sang in front of this audience and you showed how courageous you were. And I appreciate that. So, one last hand of applause for our friends. Congratulations. And thank you. And that ends another Londonary Sings.